I'm Chad from Alltel Diagnostics and welcome to the shop. On today's episode, we're going to do a relative compression test on this 2002 Chevy Duramax diesel using our Maxisys Ultra and our VCMI with a built-in four channel lab scope. But to do that, we're going to need an amp clamp to be able to measure the amperage pulling from the battery from the starter. And we're going to do that using the oscilloscope accessory kit that is new from Autel Diagnostics. This oscilloscope accessory kit includes a 65 amp amp clamp, a 650 amp amp clamp, and a signal probe for coil on plugs, along with a couple other adapters here in the lid for coil on plugs. So what we're going to do is we're going to follow the directions in the Ultra tablet on doing this relative compression test, and that's a pretty simple process. Doing a relative compression test is an easy way to see how the engine is performing mechanically. We're going to use one of our amp clamps, clip it around the positive lead of the battery cable, and measure the amp draw coming from the battery to the starter. And if that amp draw is consistent, we know that the engine mechanically is working well. If we have one of those drop out, we can see what cylinder or what is contributing to that low amp draw. Getting started with this process is pretty easy. Let's follow the instructions on the Maxisys Ultra to get started with this test. On the Maxisys Ultra, we're going to select measurement and we're going to select oscilloscope. We are connected to our VCMI via Wi-Fi, so we don't have to worry about any cables being in our way and we're able to take the tablet and walk around and even take it to the driver's seat. We're gonna select the picture of a car up here at the top. We're going to go to engine starting, starter, and starting current voltage. From here, it's automatically going to pop up with information on this process. It's going to tell us what pieces we need. We need the large dolphin clips for positive and negative. That's going to help us measure our voltage. And we're going to need the 650 amp clamp and the scope test leads. And I have all of that already hooked up to the truck. It's going to give us information about the connection and it's going to show us a illustrated guide of what this connection will look like. If we go down a little bit farther, we're also going to see a real life picture of what that would look like, an example of a known good waveform, and lots of information related DTCs. When I look at the screen where it says real vehicle connection, if we look down here at the bottom, we're gonna make sure the current clamp is switched to the on position and set to the one millivolt, one amp range. And that's going to be important because the tablet is automatically gonna set itself up for that specific range. We're gonna take our amp clamp, we're gonna turn it to that one millivolt, one amp range. We're gonna go ahead and slide the help information away from the screen and we're going to press start. You can see that we have our 12 volts coming from our battery and that is on channel one or the red channel. And then we have our amp clamp connected to the green channel. We're gonna go ahead and zero that out. And now we know we have a zero baseline on our amp clamp as we showed in our instructions. We're gonna connect that to our positive battery lead. A couple things to think about. On this specific truck, we have two batteries. I can connect directly to the starter cable coming from the main battery, or I can disable one battery so I'm only measuring out of one battery. And that's what I chose to do on this one. I've also tested the battery, making sure the battery is in good condition using our new Autel battery tester, the BT608. What? I'm not supposed to talk about that yet? Uh, don't worry about that one. That one's gonna come. I'll put the information in the link below. So make sure you test the battery, make sure the battery's in good condition, and make sure that you're isolating the battery so you're using only one battery in this application to do the test. Our next step is to disable the fuel system and crank the truck. I've already disabled the fuel system, so now we crank the truck over to get our good pattern. We're wireless to the vehicle, so we don't have to worry about trying to start the truck and then running back out here and pushing pause on it. We can take the tablet with us. You can see our initial amp draw on the screen and the voltage changed a little bit. And there we have our pattern. Now you'll look down here at the bottom of the screen. This is our buffer. 
If we take that and we back up a screen, you will see our pattern. I'm going to enhance that by pinching on it and just making it a little bit bigger. Now there's a lot of information built onto this screen and we can use this information to make sure, like I said before, that our engine is working mechanically correct. We can also test and see how much voltage drop we have on that battery if we wanted to. So if we look over here on the side, you'll see a red number one in the top corner. I'm going to pull that down and that is going to be our voltage measurement for our red channel. And you can see that while cranking on one battery of a diesel engine, that our voltage went down to 10.62. So that's still a really good battery considering how much amperage we're pulling out of that battery. If I want to get rid of that marker, I can go ahead and press X and that marker will go away. Now I want to measure the information from our amperage and I want to pull that from channel green. I will select the green channel from the left side of the screen and I will pull that tab down to give us the top measurement and the bottom measurement. Now, by doing that, it gives me a reference line to see mechanically are all of my amperages pretty much the same amongst all my different cylinders. Let's say I wanted to break that down a little bit and I wanted to see only an eight cylinder window. We can do that as well. You'll see over here on the left, you'll see a T1. We can take that and pull that to number one and I will count that out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So now I have eight peaks measured out and I have my high point and my low point all measured out on the screen. If I look at my one and two, you can see that position one is 243 amps and position two is 391 amps. That gives me a delta of 148. That means from my highest point to my lowest points of amp draw, I'm drawing 148 amps of difference peak to peak. And you can also see that I have my milliseconds there and that all breaks it down for me. So if I wanted to really deep dive into it, I could. Now remember, this is a four channel lab scope. So if I did have an issue with one of those pulling out, I could connect a third wire for a reference and see exactly what cylinder is causing me issues through that process. So there we go. In less than a couple minutes, we're able to mechanically check and see how the health of our engine is with an amp clamp in our Maxisys Ultra, and the Maxisys Ultra automatically set up all those parameters for us. We didn't have to figure out what clamp we were using, what probe we were using, or what settings to have on that probe. The Maxisys Ultra did all that for us. So thanks for joining me. I'm Chad with Autel Diagnostics. Make sure you check out the products. This can be done on the Maxisys Ultra or the MS919. It can also be done with your MP408 scope with the accessory kit, and I will put the information for that in the description below. Make sure you like, subscribe, and join us for the next one. We'll talk to you soon.